This is a short tutorial that we're gonna build this minimap and this is how it's gonna work. Okay, so we can walk obviously and that will follow us. And if we pull up the menu, it's gonna show up in here as well. Okay, so I'm gonna delete everything that I made. I'm gonna delete all of this. I'm only gonna leave this uh, minimap. This is what you're gonna start up with in your game. Obviously, you don't have a minimap. So what we're gonna have to do is create a camera object. And from that camera object, you can delete the, the listener. And all you have to set in here is a output render texture. So you can go and create a texture. I've created one already. I'll create a new one give it a name and now you have a render texture In the render texture you can change the size if you want and you can disable this buffer next thing is to use these culling masks so at the beginning you can set it to everything and then mount this into a image object so in this case what we have is a image in here so this is what you start up with is a regular image but you what you need is a raw image so Remove this and add a raw image. And now this will give you a texture. So just drag your map into that texture and now you have a minimap. Now obviously it's not working because it's not flipped. After flipping your camera to 90 degrees so it faces downwards, change the projection to orthographic. You can change the size as well. And then in the output texture, all you have to do is grab this map texture and drop it in there. Now if we go into the game, we can see that we have a texture. And if we drag now this camera into our player and hit play, we'll see that it will follow us. Okay, next thing is to add that minimap sprite to our game. So what, I, what I've done in here is created one in off camera. So this is the, obviously the mirage map or minimap that I have in here. So the way you do that is by going into any static game object in your game and just create a UI image. Next thing is to go to the canvas and change the render mode to world space. After having done that, you can go to that canvas that you just created and you can rotate it wherever you want. So you just do 90 degrees and then change your settings like that. And then you can download this sprite this PNG uh, picture and simply drag and drop it into your image. Okay, now you, what you have is a mirage map overlaid. The very last thing you have to do is to change the layer from the UI into the minimap so that only the minimap sees it. And then what you have is a map that will be seen only from that same camera. So if we go to the camera, now you can change the culling mask from everything into minimap only. And now you'll see that it only renders the minimap. You can change the size as well, obviously. And then one last thing you can add is a rigid body. And inside the rigid body, you have to disable the gravity so it doesn't fall down. And you can freeze the rotations. So now if I hit play, we'll see that it follows us. One last thing we can do is add in a player indicator. To do that, you can come to your player create one UI image, do the same thing, change it from overlay into world space, rotate it 90 degrees, choose a sprite and change the layer to minimap. After changing the layer to minimap, in our, in our game we should see a dot indicating where the player is. So if we hit play, that dot should follow the player. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I know it's a little bit short. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.